Now here's something for you to consider. Think about all the different things that have been written over the centuries. Scientific things, historical things, political things, you name it. How many times have you found a subject where nobody was ever corrected? That is, science was not corrected by later scientists who had different theories. Uh, or those historians who said, well, that wasn't really exactly how it happened. Or even in modern day, the things that are written today, look how many times it's called fake news. Whether it's pro-Trump or anti-Trump, it's still fake news. Uh, how many times have you found something that wasn't contradicted? Well, I just suddenly sat here at my desk and realized that we, in fact, have prophets down through several thousand years who were not corrected by the following prophets. Think about that for a minute. Jeremiah, Nehemiah, uh, all of these prophets, they didn't contradict each other. Malachi, none of them contradicted each other or said, well, he was mistaken. Isn't that interesting? Prophets were always right 100% of the time, and they didn't argue with each other. Think about that for a minute. Then let's take a look at the scripture for today. Malachi chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. For behold, the day is coming, burning like a furnace, and all of the arrogant and evildoers will be sh like chaff. And the day that is coming will set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But as for you who fear my name, and the Son of the righteous will rise from the healing in its wings, and you will go forth and skip about like calves from a stall, and you will tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day in which I am preparing, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the law of Moses, my servant, even the statutes and the ordinances which I commanded them in Horeb for all of Israel. Behold, I am going to send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. He will restore the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers so that I will not come and smite the land with a curse. Many of you probably remember that old phrase. It was in the uh, Saturday Night Live or one of those shows. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. Well, here comes the judge. Uh, here we have a prophecy from Malachi that there's coming a day of judgment. Uh, he sees not only the short-term things that are going to happen when Elijah comes and prophesies about the coming of the Lord and the Savior, but the second coming also. He sees across both hills, and he makes a, pr a prediction that there's a coming judgment, the day of the Lord. It's uh, really quite interesting when you think about it. We see that this judgment is coming, and it will come for the unrighteous and the rewards for the righteous. And we'll see it when it comes. It's going to be an exciting day. I hope that uh, it's during my lifetime, but we do know that that day is coming, and it's an exciting day. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.